Talo Falava, my name is Liz Patu. I come from uh, Queensland, Australia, and I play for the Wallaroos as well as Queensland Reds. It was something that I never thought I was going to achieve. You know, especially being born in New Zealand, <laughs> raised in Samoa, and then moved in um, to Australia. Being the only <laughs> Samoan to reach the most capped in, you know, Australia, I had no words for it. Um, especially going through the trials and tribulations that I have had to go through as well. And, you know, um, six years ago, I was suspended for six weeks you know, for the biting incident and, you know, through that, that's just, um, and then to keep going with the Wallaroos and reaching my highest cap, that for me is, yeah, something that I know that I can still, you know, that I will cherish for life. And especially being a Samoan in, a, you know, an Australian team and to reach that is a massive, massive achievement for myself and my family as well. When I saw that, especially when it went out on social media, I saw that, I was like, you know, our people, um, the Pacific Islanders, we're not just representing Samoans, we're actually representing the Pacific Islander people. So having and seeing that there was five, um, you know, it's a massive achievement that our people can go through, or even Pacific Islanders can go through. The growth that I've seen, especially for uh, Rugby Australia is that um, they, you know, it, it's a slow process. It's a slow process and we're not going to always have everything all at once. Um, being away as well um, is going to be tough because we are women and, you know, we, we have families that we need to look after. That's what we do as women. We have families, we have, you know, things that we need to do, we need to work as well. Like majority of the girls in the team don't get paid for it, um, but, you know, over the years, we have seen Rugby Australia start paying our girls, which is a good thing for me. Um, mine was, pain is only temporary. So the pain that you go through on the field, um, you know, it's only temporary. So if you just keep pushing through, keep going, and you can also achieve what you, you wanted to achieve. And for me, that's kept me going.